The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, Olanikbe Kunulukwede, has called on Nigerians and members of the society to collaborate with the authorities to nip in the bud the rising insecurity in the country, exacerbated by the activities of actors who fund terrorism and other criminal enterprises. Take a look. While the EFCC chairman spoke extensively on efforts the commission is making, including the adoption of technology to meet up with contemporary challenges. Lukwede was in silence about the activities of Nigerians and other members of the public whose actions, he says, has aided and abated the criminals. Some of our discuss discoveries recently, when we went into investigating some of this platform, was, was mind-boggling. Uh, we thought Binance was a major one. Yes, a major one, we are prosecuting them, but much more, much more other platforms we have discovered. Some of these activities are also promoted by Nigerians, most times. Now, when our military and law enforcement agencies go to work, Nigerians are supposed to support them. Fighting terrorism is collective responsibility. If four out of every five Nigerians can stand for what we are here for today, in six months, we will leave this thing in the board. We must not leave this responsibility to the military and to the law enforcement alone. Chairman of the ICPC, in his remarks, blamed poverty and literacy for the rising cases of insecurity in Nigeria. Poverty, illiteracy have been identified as some of the main causes of terrorism in Nigeria. These twin ills must be tackled effectively to stop extremism and violent dissent. Bad governance and corruption have direct relations with the prevalence of poverty and illiteracy. And this is something which all of us are aware that if there is good governance, definitely there will be peace and security in the society. Others called for protection of the interests of security operatives while also pledging the support of the National Assembly to strengthen financial regulations to tackle illicit financial flows. These issues are priorities to us as we have uh, enshrined in the legislative agenda, but particularly we believe that some of the legislative interventions that can help address these issues include strengthening of anti-money laundering laws uh, to cover a broad range of transactions and entities to support, of course, the ICPC, EFCC, and other bodies like that, uh, to also improve uh, the effectiveness of the financial intelligence unit. I mean, it's only in Nigeria you will see this kind of thing. So-called non-self actors will take arms and be killing, you know, police will be killing army and people just move on just like that. We need to protect our security men and women that are also giving their lives. And sadly, some of them, when they are even killed on this, not even any national honor, not even any support to their families. We need to change the way we do things, you know. Otherwise, we will not encourage people to even join any security, you know, uh, agencies. Even the anti-corruption agencies. See how they have been bullied, they have been attacked simply because they want to help clean the country. They want to prevent people from taking the resources that are meant for our development. The EFCC had earlier in April 2024 frozen 1,146 accounts over unauthorized foreign exchange transactions. Some of them, its chairman says were linked to individuals suspected to be financing the activities of bandits, terrorists, and other criminal activities in Nigeria.